Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to revise one of the fascinating topics in maths. It is known as simple math problems. This topic is usually examined in math paper 1 and carries 3 marks. So we are going to revise some past exam question papers, about 4 of them, so that you get an insight on how to answer the questions on simple math problems. So the first question that we are going to revise today, I'm going to extract it from June 2016. It was on number 17. It is reading, the scale of a map is given as 1 is to 250,000. Find A, the distance on the ground in kilometers represented by a length of 5 centimeters on the map. So here we are saying that one centimeter on the map is representing the actual distance of 250,000 centimeters. And we apply proportion. If one centimeter represents 250,000, what about five centimeters? It is going to be more. So we say five times 250,000 in order to get 1,250,000 centimeters. But the question is requiring us to express in kilometers. You need to understand that one kilometer is equal to 100,000 centimeters. What about 1,250,000? It is going to be more. So we divide 1,250,000 by 100,000 in order to get our final answer is 12.5 kilometers. And then on part B, it is saying find the actual area in square kilometers uh, represented by an area of six square centimeters on the map. So the scale of length is one centimeter to represent 2.5 kilometers. If we convert 250,000 into kilometers by dividing by 100,000, we are going to get 2.5 kilometers. And the scale of area we are going to square the scale of length. So if we say 1 centimeter times 1 centimeter, we are going to get 1 square centimeter. And then if we say 2.5 kilometers times 2.5 kilometers, we are going to get 6.25 square kilometers. So this is the scale of area. 1 square centimeter is representing 6.25 square kilometers. What about six square centimeters it is going to be more so we say six over one times six point two five in order to get thirty seven point five square kilometers so that was all about simple map problems in june 2016 maths paper one we want now to proceed to a question on simple map problem that was in november 2004 number it was on number 21 it is reading a map of a town is drawn to a scale of one centimeter to represent five kilometers. A road on the map is eight centimeters long. Calculate the actual length of the road, giving the answer in kilometers. So the scale of length is one centimeter in order to represent five kilometers. What about eight centimeters? We apply proportion. It is going to be more. So we say 8 over 1 times 5 in order to get 40 kilometers. And then on part 2, we are supposed to calculate the actual area of the town. Um, we are given that the actual area of the town is 150 square kilometers. We are supposed to calculate uh, in square centimeters the area of the town on the map. So here what we are going to do... We need to convert the scale of length to the scale of area by squaring the scale of length. One centimeter times one centimeter is equal to one square centimeter. And then five kilometers times five kilometers, we get 25 square kilometers. So it means that one square centimeter is representing 25 square kilometers kilometers what about 150 square kilometers it is going to be more so we're saying 150 divided by 25 times one square centimeter in order to get six square centimeters so that was all about a simple map problem question that was in november 2004 
uh, we are now moving on to the third question paper. We are going to extract our question on simple map problems from November 2020. It is saying a map is drawn to a scale of 1 centimeter to represent 80,000 centimeters. We are supposed to calculate the length of a line in centimeter on the map which represents uh, 5.6 kilometers. So what we are going to do here is that um, we need to convert uh, 80,000 centimeters into kilometers. We divide by 100,000 in order to get 0 0.8 kilometers. So it means that one centimeter is representing 0 0.8 kilometers. What about 5.6? It is going to be more. So we're saying 5.6 divided by 0 0.8 times 1 centimeter in order to get 7 centimeters and then on part b uh, we are supposed to calculate the actual area in square kilometers represented on the map by an area of 100 square centimeters so the scale of length is 1 centimeter to represent 0 0.8 kilometers what about the scale of area we are going to uh, to square the scale of length we now have one square centimeter to represent 0 0.64 square kilometers so we apply proportion 100 square centimeters it is going to be more so 100 over 1 times 0 0.64 square kilometers our final answer is going to be 64 square kilometers so that was all about uh, simple map problems in november 2020 lastly we are going to revise a simple map problem question that was in June 2020. It was on number 22. It is saying on a certain map, a length of 2 cm represents a distance of 5 km. We're supposed to express the scale of the map giving the answer in the form 1 is to n. So here what we are going to do is that uh, we are given that 2 cm is representing five kilometers and we understand that one kilometer is equal to hundred thousand centimeters so we are going to convert um five kilometers into centimeters it is going to be five hundred thousand centimeters and then we divide both sides by two centimeters so that it is going to be in the form one is to n so it is going to remain as one is to two hundred and fifty thousand that is the scale in the form 1 is to n. And then on part B, we are then supposed to calculate the area on the map in square centimeter, which represent an actual area of 4 square kilometers. Uh, we are having our scale of length as 1 centimeter to represent 2.5 kilometers. We are going to square the length, the scale of the length so that we now have one square centimeter to represent 6.25 square kilometers and then we apply proportion if one square centimeter represents 6.5 6.25 what about four it is going to be less so it is now four over 6.25 times one square centimeter in order to get 0 0.64 square centimeters so that was all about our revision today on simple map problems I wish you all the best in your preparations from November 2024 maths exams. Thank you so much. This is Eve signing out.